Hello and welcome to Is It A Good Idea To Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. They say if uh, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But if life gives you a microwave, you stick junk inside it. Well, let's go roast this thing. And as always, our sharp microwave. Never a good idea unless you want an explosion. Stop it, stop it. Safety is our number one concern. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. The math, they do nothing. We also hide behind a big tinfoil shield. Nobody likes roast with math. Is it a good idea? <laughs> Absolutely. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is our number one concern. Really? Well, I know we don't have the masks. <laughs> really? But we do have this giant tinfoil shield. And it's to protect our nuts, because nobody likes roasted nuts. We also have this fan right here, which isn't on. But it's to circulate the air. And as always, our sharp carousel microwave. This time, it's Helga. She's big, and she is beautiful. So, in go the, uh... Lemons and lime. I can't juggle, so I'm just gonna place them in there. Because, you know, if you heat them up, you can get more juice out of them. That's probably why we're doing it, I think. Okay, I wonder how long I should put it in there for. I'm gonna say two minutes. I was gonna say five minutes. But I'm that's gonna just because I want. I'm gonna go with my suggestion. Fine! Yeah, okay. Let's Fail, do I don't care. <laughs> that display is really nice. The limes are away. Mm. In the lead is lemon to the right. We're, we're doing this experiment, but what do we think is actually going oh. to happen to um, it? I think they're just going to uh, pop a little bit. Juice I mean, is going to fly everywhere. I, like To be honest, the fruit are usually some of our lamest experiments. Yeah, so why did we do this one? Because you guys kept asked asking for it. for it. I guess you guys wanted homemade Sprite. Homemade Sprite sucks. Rest in peace, Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> This is, uh, this is great. The power of citrus. Great suggestion. <laughs> Lame. But we're doing it for you. It's all for you, Damien. It's all for you. D who's Damien? Have you ever seen The Omen? The who? The Omen. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Someone out there will get it. Is it a movie? And they'll explain it to you, John. I don't... You'll receive, like, I'm a 40-page response. Maybe some awesome viewer that will just send you a DVD. It'll probably be ripped, like, a ripped version, because... That's probably who our fans are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I would do. The citrus is going to do nothing, people. It's going to do nothing. If you can send me footage, actually, of it doing something, I'll send you a cookie. This time, I will actually send you a cookie. Hey, you... hey. You turn the lights on? Yeah, whatever. I'll get the lights. It actually smells like citrus in here, and I think I just heard some, like, coming from in there. It's almost like a mixture of lemon and lime right now, but like with apple cider. Oh, let's open this up. Wow, that was unexpected. Ooh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Check this out. Oh, God, no! Wow, that's, that's a strong smell, dude. Let me see if I can do it to the lemons, too. Mmm. Oh. So tasty, so tasty. Oh, God. I think I'm going to throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> you may be wondering, is it a good idea to microwave... Uh... You, know, you know, you always ask that, and I never wonder. <laughs> what would you say? Good idea? Bad idea? Well, seeing as how we took good, usable fruit and made it into spongy squirty balls... Yes, but lots of juice came out. Warm juice. If you have tea, this lime, if you saw how it was directional, you could fill two glasses with tea with a slight <laughs> tinge of lime. You always look Perfection. at the bread. Perfection. You always look at the bread. Good idea? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll see you later for, is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Jory Karen, and you can see my breath. Yeah. <laughs>